Hi. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. I am here. I was going to come on yesterday, but with all the snow that we got, I there was no way. Like, I was so busy. Um, yeah. So... Here we are. I'm going to make the ooh, classic meatloaf, which was requested by voting in my group. Um, there was enchiladas, um, classic meatloaf, homemade pizza dough from the gluten-free um, batter mix that we have. I'll show you over here. Um, and then it, there was also um, cinnamon rolls made from this batter as well. Um, very, very tasty. Um, and the winner was the classic meatloaf. So I'm going to make it, and I'm going to make it in the rectangle. I'm going to make, I'm going to prepare it in the multi purpose steamer because nothing sticks to it. And then I'm going to um, cook it in the mini loaf pan. So let's get started. So it says to combine this seasoning with ground beef, egg, and water. So that's what we're going to do. So the seasoning, ground beef, I um, try not to cook with ground beef too often, um, so I am using ground turkey, um, you can use ground pork, there is definitely other alternatives, it, it is cold, okay, so I'll put my ground turkey in there. Um, how is everyone doing today? If you pop on, say hello. Let me know you're here. If you watch it in the replay, hashtag replay. So I've got the seasoning, the ground beef, one egg. And two tablespoons of water. So let's go here. One and two. So now we're going to mix that up well. So I'm going to do it with my meat grinder, my meat separator. Sorry. Okay. So, just to show you here what I am doing, everything is mixed together, and I am just mixing it all up. And this thing works fantastic. The meat separator works fantastic. I would normally use my hands, but there is no need anymore, thank you to Epicure. I just want to make sure that it's well mixed. That way the flavoring gets all over the place. Um, if you have any requests of what you would like me to make, I definitely am up for requests. I'll probably be making the pizza next but you never know depends on the day and the weather and all of that fun stuff what I'm craving so this is super easy all right so now that that is done we're gonna put them into I just want to wash my hands
into the mini loaf pans. Pity. <laughs> My dog is hoping that I drop some so that he can have a taste too. I was always in the kitchen wondering what I'm cooking here. It smells so good. That is the one thing about um, cooking over camera versus in house parties is you don't get the smell. You don't get to see the same. Okay, so mini loaf pans. I'm gonna start with two. And then I'm gonna use my three in one spatula. So we're gonna put it right in there. So just so you see what I'm doing here. So I don't want to fill it right up. Because we still got to add sauce to it. Um, I did see actually someone put cheese in the middle of it. Um, in the middle of their meatloaf. So that when they cut open their meatloaf, there is cheese in the middle. Sounds pretty good to me. I am just doing exactly what the recipe says today. Just so then we can uh, get a, a review of exactly what it's uh, all about. So, we'll get the second one in here. I'll pop them in. I'm going to make these in the microwave so then that way... Um, you can see what they look like at the end, and I'll be able to taste it. And it also shows then if you're a busy day, instead of going for takeout, let's say, you can have it ready in minutes. Oh, hi, Elaine. Thanks for popping on. <laughs> I am making classic meatloaf and I'm using the mini loaf pans and the multi-purpose steamer. So the multi-purpose steamer as my mixing bowl, um, the mini loaf pans, I'm going to actually cook them in it. And uh, I've got the three in one spatula here, which is fantastic. I use the meat separator as well to mix it all so I didn't have to get my hands all dirty. So I could really scrape everything up but I'm gonna leave it there. But just so you see, it's cleaned right out. This 3-in-1 spatula is amazing, absolutely amazing. Their Epicure's cookware is actually, I'd say, almost better than their food. And their food is amazing. How are you doing, Elaine? Did you uh, survive that snowstorm yesterday? So I got three um, mini loaves of meatloaf which will work fantastic for me because I can freeze some of these then and uh, pull them out later. So I'm going to now put these in the microwave uh, for four minutes. It says to cover them. So here we go. And I'm going to use my multi-purpose steamer lid. There. So. Oh. So four minutes. And while we wait for that, I'll make the sauce up that will pour over top. So we need um, three tablespoons of ketchup. <laughs> you did survive and there's lots of snow. Oh yeah, lots of snow. 
It's amazing how much is here. Like it just keeps coming and I heard there's more possibly on Thursday. I did not just say that. <laughs> So two tablespoons. So one. Oh, I dropped it. Um, I'm just gonna rinse this off because the three-in-one spatula works great for this as well. It's fantastic for like getting in jars that are near the bottom. Your mayonnaise jar. You don't get anything on your hands. Um, okay, so that's one. Let's go for two. And see what I mean? Ah, there's nothing in there. It's all gone. Just a little bit on the outside. Okay, and then we're going to do um, one teaspoon of brown sugar and honey mustard. So I've got honey mustard here. Oh boy. I got it. <laughs> a brand new bottle. I'd be squeezing for days. Okay, so one teaspoon of honey mustard, which this one is a lot smaller, so it'll be harder for my spatula to get in there. And I should have did the brown sugar first, because now it's going to stick to all that mustard. Um, so I'm using my Epicure scissors, which are absolutely fantastic. If you've seen my videos, you know that you can cut chicken, you can cut literally everything with them. Okay, so let's get a teaspoon here. Okay. And I'm just going to mix that up and I will show you here. So, this is all ketchup, mustard, brown sugar, and we'll just mix it up. So, this is what we're going to put on top of our little meatloaves. I feel like I'm going to have to make more of this because typically you'd put the meatloaf all in one container. Um, and then you drizzle this over. But with mine being in three, and I like saucy food, I don't like dry food. I, but it was simple to make, so. Hi, BJ! <laughs> Thanks for hopping on. I'm making classic meatloaf in the microwave. Oh, three seconds left. And I will be adding, there's the buzzer, I will be adding the sauce. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll show you what they look like. And keep in mind that I used um, ground turkey instead of ground pork or ground beef. Um, oh. They definitely are not dry. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sauce on. Oh, as I said, I'll probably have to make more. Ooh. Okay, and that's where the spatula is good again. So I'm gonna scrape the bowl. And I'll show you what it looks like. It actually covered all three of these pretty good. I'm impressed. 
they definitely have their measurements down good. Okay, so that's what that looks like. We do need to put these back in the microwave. Looks good, eh? Um, so we'll put them back in the microwave for an additional two to three minutes or until the center reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and we're going to cover them again. Okay, so I'm going to go to 35, two and a half minutes. Um, so you can also make it in the oven. It does give you the directions on the back to make it in the oven. Um, it just basically the same, you put the... Um, meatloaf in, spread the sauce over the meatloaf, place on a lined sheet pan, bake uncovered though um, in a preheated oven of 350 degrees and it's going to take 35 to 40 minutes. So that's a big difference between the four, six, seven, say seven minutes in the microwave and then plus the prep time, so 10, 15 minutes max. Um, so the oven, 35 to 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, those quick days that you want something but healthy, um, it's definitely great for that. So I do have um, another product of meatloaf seasoning, a different brand in my cupboard. And uh, it's a little different um, for the ingredients and stuff. I did post it and I did share it. Um, I don't like pointing out other companies because if you enjoy other companies, then that's great. That's your choice. But it did um, shock me the ingredients that were in it compared to Epicure's and uh, the sodium content. So I like to point that out um, just because not everyone can eat everything. Um, there is a lot of people in the world that have restrictions and uh, if I don't point it out, well then no one will know, right? Um, so it's definitely advisable to look at the back, look at the ingredients, not just the first couple, but see what all the others are. Um, and also your sodium content, your fat, your sugars, all of that. Okay. So I have four seconds left and my dinner is, there's the beeper. My dinner is ready. I will throw some veggies in the multi-purpose steamer, maybe some rice. There it is. Yum, yum, yum. Um, if it cools, I will taste it and let you know. Just let me pull these out. I'll be able to, as I said, freeze these. And the mini loaf pans, are actually freezer safe. So I could, once they cooled, cover them and actually put them directly in the freezer if I wanted. Um, but I will take them out, wrap them up. Okay, so let's get a fork. Let's try this. I'm super excited. So this is my first time making the classic meatloaf. I like my videos. If you see my videos, I like making it fresh with you because that's how you'll be doing it in your home. So, get a little bit of sauce on here. I'm afraid that it's too hot. I don't want to burn my mouth. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Okay, 
No worries about it being dry. Definitely not dry. Definitely not dry. I like that sauce on top. Um, some people I have seen, as I said, add cheese in the middle, add breadcrumbs as well. What can I say? It's meatloaf. <laughs> it's yummy. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pair it with some rice and some veggies. So I'll take a picture of my plate. Um, if you don't have the mini loaf pans, this is a good serving right there. Um, I would say you'd probably get, like, that would feed me and I'd be full. Um, it says it serves four and that's what I was going to say. It would be just over enough for one person. So if you divide it all up, it would be four good servings. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Vote in my group on what you would want me to make next. I love hearing your suggestions. Oh, someone else just popped on. Uh, so watch the replay, hashtag replay, and uh, I give it thumbs up. This is very good, very fast, very easy. Bye.